sure. But you know, I hit the ground running. I uh, I drove people to the polls, and and amazingly enough. That's one of the biggest hurdles to overcome for certain demographics is just getting to the poll because their polling place is so far from their home. So many of these areas don't have any public transportation, and if you don't have a car and no public transportation, you are really dependent on your neighbors, your friends, and a well-organized campaign to actually help you get to the poll. And so to piggyback off of what Anoa was saying, you know, it really is a shame and a detriment to democracy when you have people who count on lower turnout for success. Matter of fact, Ted Cruz, look at this. If you add the numbers together, so you have about 40, 40, so it's 80, but like 130,000. So Ted Cruz really won tonight because exactly what we were discussing at the top of the hour, which was he had a lower turnout. The lower the turnout, the better the establishment does. And this is on both sides of the aisle. This is Republican. This is Democrat. And for Hillary Clinton, the lower turnout, she would have had a better opportunity. But thankfully, the uh, the many college students and first time delegates, it was a it was a it was a 50 50 split right at the beginning. It was 49 percent first timers, 51 percent uh, second time or, or more than once in terms of uh, caucusing. So it really just it really shines a light on the reality that there are people who have a vested interest in making this more difficult for people to participate because the more people that participate, the greater threat we are to the establishment, which to me tells us that we should have an influx of voters every single time because the establishment is itself the problem. Anoa, what else you got for us? <laughs> 